In the previous video, we explored the unique and beautiful Greek island of Santorini. And then I welcomed our new crew member to the boat. Kufanisi is one of my favorite Greek islands and where we left the boat while we took the ferry to Santorini. So how was your first night on the boat? Not too rocky, thankfully. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, in the marina here, it really only gets rocky in here when the ferry comes in. But All right, uh, so we are going to go to the beach for just a little bit and then we're going to head out. You ready? That's it. Let's do it. <laughs> Well, it's warmed up from what it was. This is still a little chilly, but... It's crazy. Yeah? You're not going to get in? <laughs> That's it? Posing hard work. Oh, yeah? I just want to do this. <laughs> That's a good work, yeah. All right, we got the uh, dinghy pulled up, the boarding lat or uh, the passerelle put away. You ready to go sail for the first time? I'm so excited. All right, so we have to, I'm gonna show you up here where you're gonna release the mooring line. I'll get these lines and we'll get out of here. So we're tied on to a lazy line or a sand line. So this, this rope that goes down there, you can see that concrete block. So it's attached to that concrete block. So in a, in a marina like this, a lot of places what you do is you drop your anchor and you back up to the thing. But if everybody dropped their anchor, it'd be so crowded in here with anchors, it'd be crossed up. So they put these mooring blocks in here. So you back up to the dock. This line is attached to the dock, to the seawall. And so then it's, see how they got tight on there? So then it sinks. And then if you back up the line, somebody hands it or you hook the line and then you walk it forward and tie it on to here. So then when we're ready to go, you're gonna let this line go. Okay. So then I'm gonna release this line and when uh, I get that done, she's gonna let us go and we're out of here. And we're off. <laughs> it's like there's seven knots of wind. This is the least windy it's been in like three weeks here. There wasn't much wind, but we were only going about 10 miles down to Shinosa. Enjoying your first time out on the sailboat? It's amazing. Well, nice and peaceful out here, huh? It'd be nice if we could sail, but we're headed straight into the wind, so. We saw a dolphin a minute ago, but they didn't come over and swim with us. I don't know if you could see that, but there was a dead lionfish, so somebody was out here diving or snorkeling and killed it. Mm. Let it go. Crazy, it's invasive here. Well, it's looking pretty, pretty full here. I don't know if they're gonna have space for us. We've not done this yet, so we're gonna, uh, like, the dock is full. I didn't expect there to be that many power boats here, but whatever. So we're gonna uh, back, we're gonna drop anchor and back up to the wall here and head more to the rocks. And so we use the dinghy to run this line ashore. Now I'm just, uh, pulling on the anchor and uh, make sure it's holding us off the rocks. Dale mi negrita, baby, baila. Ese cuerpito de tequila y playa. Maita en bikini soleata, bien cabrón cuando baila repajada. Ese bajo mueve tan chévi, muy suelta. It's always a good idea when you're anchored that close to the rocks to go check on your anchor. And it's a great excuse to cool off. Dale, baby, tíralo pa' atrás. Tira una cumbia con ya no cincuenta. Otra manera. Is this your first dinghy ride as well? Yeah. First dinghy ride. First for everything. Even with our small dinghy, it was only a short ride into town. They've done a lot of construction. It's like that, this hole wasn't here last year. That only thing here was that one restaurant. So last time I was here, none of this, I mean, none of these super yachts were here and it was, wasn't very busy at all. They've done a lot of construction. They're building a lot of stuff. It's kind of weird all the super yachts are here now. And before they put the road in, this was the, how they got all their stuff up the hill from the port down there. Donkeys and foot. That's how you got up and down. Because it was more defensible to have your main town up here than right on the water. There's your amphitheater. Are you gonna give us a play? Come on, sing for us. I'm gonna give it a pause. No? Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah after that long hike, well deserved beer. It's really long and hot. Yeah. It's pretty up here though. All right, now sing something. Do re mi fa so latino. <laughs> All right, had a nice little lunch up at the uh, village up there. Heading back to the boat. Somebody needs a nap. <laughs> She's a napper. I'm not much of a napper. I guess I'll do some work. All right, kind of a chill afternoon. Just kind of hanging out. Napping. Napping, <laughs> of course. Uh, so now we are going to go into the marina area there for dinner. We got reservations, so it's about time to head out. You ready? Out there. Yeah, nice little workout in the morning. All right, uh, relaxing kind of take it easy night. Uh, we're gonna head over to Antiparos, a little bit more populated. Uh, probably anchor out there. I don't know if they have room on their town dock or not, but we'll head over there for one or two nights and then start working our way back up to Sakladis. Well, pretty glassy out there, so it's a day of motoring, but that's better than the 30 to 40 knot winds we would have been dealing with last week. So, uh, heading up to Annie Paros today. Never been there. Heard it's kind of a beautiful place. Uh, anchor out. We'll see. Uh, spend a night, maybe two there, see if we like it. And then keep on heading up the uh, western side of the Cyclades, back up to the Saronic Islands, because we need to be there in about 10 days to uh, host the Sailing Doodles Flotilla in Greece. And speaking of flotillas, uh, we've already scheduled and are booking. I don't know if there's any places left on now, but uh, the next flotilla is October 21st through 28th in the Bahamas. There's a link down below uh, with Navigar. We have eight catamarans, I think maybe even more, uh, but you know, check them out now because they're selling out pretty quick. Well, we put the mainsail up. Uh, the wind shifted a little. It's about 10 knots out of the north now. So we should be able to sail close haul to help. The conditions continued to improve and we were able to get the Genoa out and sail. two wakes here. These guys have some pretty big wakes. Probably less than they would be. I mean, they are cats, right? They're, they're jet cats, so they're probably, uh, if that was like a big boat moving 30 knots uh, or a monohull, it'd be a lot bigger wake. But these guys are moving like 35 knots, so their wakes are pretty big. Well, that wasn't too bad, actually. Uh, the big part of the wake was so big, it was really far apart, so it wasn't too bad. But killed our forward speed though, that's for sure. The wind turned and died. And now it's of course where we want to go, so we had to pull the sails down. How's it looking, Captain? Bobby. Hello. All right, you ready to go explore Antiparos? Let's see what it has for us. We've heard rumors that there's uh, a Tom Hanks and an Amy Adams on the island. Maybe we'll get lucky enough. All right, check them out. All right, let's do it. All right, where to? Where are we going? Food. Food, okay, we need food. All right. This world is not mine. There's nothing quite like these beautiful Greek streets and some tasty euros. Not my home. All right, so uh, it's kind of a you know, pretty common anchorage here in uh, Anti Paros. There's a big Paros over there. Uh, gonna leave you guys behind tonight and just go enjoy a night out. So, not taking the camera with us, but. Uh, we're gonna go have a nice dinner and then we'll check in with you guys tomorrow as we sail to Syros, I believe is kind of the plan. I don't know. We'll see how the wind does in the morning. You ready? Thank you so much for watching. If you're enjoying the videos, it would really help us out if you would click that like and subscribe button and go ahead and leave a comment down below.